And a very warm welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. Thanks for joining us. It's Tuesday. It's just gone five. We're live at five here in the UK. And um, yeah, it's been a day. Hasn't it been a day? Oh, busy. Busy doesn't even cover it. I have been rushed off my feet over the last three hours. I mean, I can't even begin to list everything that I've been up to uh, in the time since we last spoke, because we'll be here for ooh, at least 20 seconds. Uh, but yeah, it's been very busy. Lots going on. Um, oh yeah, we did have a bit of a bit of a chit chat. Sarah's in the building, of course, uh, planning some sort of uh, future events, uh, catching up on all the goths that's going on. Uh, but yeah, it's been good. It's been good. But this, well, it was a little bit of celeb goss in there as well. Can't say too much, you know. Um, but it's it's been uh, it's been <laughs> it's been a little while. Uh, it's lovely to have you with us here, though, uh, for launch party. For those of you that are new, love this show because it kind of brings you up to speed with a lot of the launches that we've brought to you recently that you might have missed. The only bad news about this particular launch party is we are calling this as a last chance launch party because the majority of the items that we've got are kind of in their sort of last stages, really. So if you want to get them, you need to be picking them up on this show in fact i can confirm via producer johnny who is in the seat today that all of the items on the show are in double figures so if you sat back there relaxing thinking ah oh, i've probably got thousands we've got less than a hundred of every single item on the show just before we get into the show as well don't forget it is national craft month so we're celebrating that fact with you it is our very own uh, month where we give you the opportunity to take advantage of some amazing deals in the world of craft currently we have 30% off selected paper craft with the code Nukum Pepper. Nukum Pepper. N C M P A P E R. That will get you 30% off selected paper craft. Now, the best thing to do is just go to the website. You'll see a, uh, a selection on the website. There's a page that you can click on. It will list all of the deals. But if you can't be bothered to go all through them, you pop some items in your basket. The best thing you can do is just stick the code in. Just type that code in um, uh, at checkout. N C M P A P E R. And if it can apply, it will. That's the best thing to do. By the way, we did find out, thanks to Superstar Susie last night as well, that is a multi use code as well. You're welcome. Now, uh, launch party, lots to get on with. So uh, let me tell you who I'm with. Let me tell you. I'm getting round to it. I've got lots to tell you about. But I would never forget to introduce this guy, my absolute fave, me crafty bestie, me partner in crime. It is the one and only, my favourite Scott, Craig Laird. Can I just say, I thought I'd dart about in between shows trying to get things done and prepped and get organised. You ain't stopped today. That is the, uh, the life of a presentation lead. And in case Jeez you're wondering, you're thinking like, oh, he has I even forgot to put my waistcoat back on. That's how busy I've been. How often do you just see me in a shirt? Exactly. Only, only usually in the summertime. You know that you've been busy getting things done and doing things and organising things when yeah. the waistcoat comes off yeah, and stays you, you, off. You, you, you're, you're lucky I managed to uh, put my shirt back on, if I'm being honest. It, it all came off. Uh, but uh, yeah, done the pack shot, done all the notes, done all of the prep. Got Craig's um, card samples ready for him. Not you did stop. indeed, absolutely. Well, no, I did. I did get my samples ready. Uh, yeah, launch party, here we go. We've not got many, as Ben was saying, of what we are going to be featuring. Let's have a look at our half crate of card dies. Now, these are the sets that we are going to look at first. But then we've got floral embossing folders. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, some of these demos I might not get round to. So do make sure that uh, you check what you want and get it checked out within the basket. We've got a little look at Sheena coming up as well within Lakeside. I absolutely adore, love our sentiment topper yeah. pad as well. We're going to be having a look at them too. Just such a great set here, but you do absolutely need to get in quick, Ben, that's for sure. Yeah, you do need to be quick. Um, say hello as well in the comments. Get in touch. We would love to hear from you. So anything you want to ask us, anything you want to know, if 
you have already got the product that we've got on the show, feel free to let us know why you love it so much. And also, uh, if you want to send in any pictures, you can do that too. We do love a gallery, especially on a launch party. But we've got superstar Susie on the socials. Hello, Susie. Hello, Carletta, who joins us from Arkansas. Uh, Cheryl joins us from Alaska, saying good morning, crafty friends from Alaska. Hello. Hi. Um, Lois says, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. And Zoe Carver says, evening everyone from West Sussex. Evening, West Sussex. Good evening. Um, keep the hellos and shout outs coming in. I'll tell you about this first item we, we're doing, which is the half creator card. You have to be quick on this, because uh, we have got uh, less than 90 of these remaining. Uh, they are absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is the showstopper deal. Once again with these, and it is the case across all of the new launches that we've got a showstopper deal for you. If you just want the collections on their own, you can do that, but hit the shop, the show, shop the day button to find out the details about that. The showstopper is excellent though, because you get all of these brand new half credit card dies, and they are incredible. They're, they're sort of like die bridges, as I like to call them, because they're gonna cut in and cut out for you. So they're gonna be sort of slightly into your card stop, and then you're gonna get that edgeable effect with these two. But can we just appreciate how stunning these dies are? I mean, are you joking me? That I think that has got to wanna be one of my favorite dies that we've ever done. Love is in the air, beautiful. And so many people have talked about this one particularly for you know, Valentine's cards, for um, you know, celebrating anniversaries, all those kind of things. But you've got snippability with this as well. So if you just decided you like the scene of the, the tree and the bicycle, a few people have suggested, well, could you snip the couple out? Absolutely you could. So you've got plenty of snippability within all of these as well. So that's Love is in the air, stunning. I mean, the heart's absolutely gorgeous. Amore, just when you thought you couldn't see like any sort of different designs when it comes to hearts, we bring you this amazing half greater card die. On top of that, you have got, I mean, come on, just how beautiful is that rose bloom? It is absolutely huge. Even producer Johnny's getting excited in the gallery. He wants to paper piece that one, he's just said. Do your paper piece in. Oh, is that Jamie, was it? You sounded, you, you sounded the same, you two. <laughs> they, they live a street along from each other. They're, they're morphing into the same person. That was really weird. I could have sworn that was you, Johnny. That's freaked me out. <laughs> oh, to be 21 again, eh, Johnny? <laughs> uh, but yeah. um, you're 40 in two weeks. Oh, I'm 45 in about five. Anyway, um, you can uh, paper piece this, colour this. Absolutely, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful floral. You've then also got the bow, which you saw on Craig's card just a few moments ago. Absolutely uh, stunning. That is that bonny boar. Then you've got this cross. If you love that Easter collection that we brought to you a little bit earlier on, there's a lot of uh, crossover, if you excuse the pun, uh, between, <laughs> I didn't even mean that, uh, between this and that collection. And then last but by no means least, I think one of the most beautiful butterfly dies you've ever seen. Um, we're gonna have a bit of a uh, speed through with these uh, to see how you can get the best of them with Craig. If you go for the showstopper, by the way, you are going to get then for an extra 10 pounds or $20, 41 pounds or $54 worth of extra content. So. Uh, foam pads, your small 3D foam pad kit, that is coming to you. We're also gonna give you your heat resistant acetate, so you're gonna get 12 sheets of that included within the bundle, and the stunning Hyde Ranger luxury linen cardstock. You guys are absolutely loving our linen cardstock currently, um, and that is included within the bundle. So as I said, if you paid that, pay for that individually, you'd pay 41 pounds or 54 dollars. Within the showstopper, it's an extra 10 or 20. If you don't want all of that, just search for the Everyday Half uh, Creator Card dies collection and you can go for that as an individual bundle i do believe also with a lot of these um, showstoppers and collections you can go for individual dies as well but go quickly because they are going to be very very popular uh pat's joined us saying hi ben craig superstar season on the socials and my friend uh bren w says good afternoon from a sunny eerie pennsylvania uh linda fitzsimmons says hello hello back again for more i love the dies and beth metzger says good morning from north dakota i'm taking a sneak peek whilst working Craig, I did not, I never snitch. Oh, by the way, with your showstopper, you get some low tap tape as well, missed that. Uh, let's get over to Craig. He is about to show you a fantastic demo, but with which of the crater card dies? Oh, I wonder. We're gonna have a play with the cross. Oh, okay. We're gonna use it in a slightly different way, but let's have a look at some finished samples first of all. Because these are gonna cut in and cut out. So on the left-hand side, they cut in. On the right-hand side, they cut out. But that means then you can do them at an angle as well if you want to, Ben. You don't just have to do them up and down. You can do an angle and then you can do a paper piece in. I mean, doing things such as your drop shadows and because 
they do cut on the edge what about bringing in your construction acetate That's a nice idea. and starting to then layer them up together like that using the card from the showstopper then you can start to do your Ooh. fold backs, your gate folds, your Z folds as well. So you've got the ability to do that. How clean and simple is that? Our Marie's made that one there. Then you can start to do your theater cards and your diorama cards as well. Because remember, because the left hand side cuts uh, into mm -hmm. your cardstock and the right hand side cuts out, it stays within that card. And what I mean by that will become apparent in a moment with my demonstration. Ooh, wow. And then there you go, going in when it comes to the boat lid that you can see Very how nice. beautiful does that look. And you can see with that one there, you've got your sentiment that you can add from any collection, but you can still use them within your box lids. Pretty. So what we're going to do is I've taken a little bit of my ivory linen cardstock. So we're not going to cut the cross on the edge of a card. So I've cut this to five and a half inches by five and a half inches. So we're going to take the Celtic cross here. Now, that's going to be the right way up. So then, therefore, there is no cutting edge on the left-hand side, so that's going to stay within the card, but you've got a cutting edge on the outside, so therefore, that then is then going to cut away. So depending on the size of your card, if it's longer, then, of course, you can go as far in or as far out. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down slightly. I'm going to move that up just so that we, Jamie, can see here. And I just want to kind of get that center point. Now, you can use, of course, a pencil and a ruler if you want to, but also use your glass mat. That's what it's there for when it comes to measurement. So yeah. I'm going to get that center point. And what we've got as well, if I turn it around, where you've got that outer cutting edge, you've got the point that stops the cut at the top and the bottom. So that's what I want to get into that center section. So once I know that I'm at that center point, I'm putting my low tack tape, remember this is going to be waste, it's going to be discarded, so it won't really matter if your low tack tape captures the card. And then we're going to go in with our plate. Now it's a really detailed die, so I'm going to use my full plate configuration, base, frosted, magnetic top plate, mm -hmm. and then we're going to feed that one through. Now, depending on the size of card that you're using, they will go through a junior. As you've seen there, that's fitting my junior plates or your midi, but of course it depends on the type of card that you're doing. So if I take that out and if I peel that away, carefully remove that out the way, where we've now got the left-hand side has stayed in place, yeah. but the right-hand side has popped out. So we can pop the little bits. If you've got your little die tool, then you can use that to pop all the little bits out. And this is the sort of die cut that I would say the words selective paper piecing. Now, I love paper piecing, but even I wouldn't paper piece the whole of this image. This is where I would just do selective parts, maybe the center component, yeah. maybe the top and the bottom, the left and the right. So as much as I've got patience to do the whole lot, I wouldn't, but I would just do selective areas. So then what we've got is we've then got our left cut in and the right has cut out. So I've gone in with my luxury gold card stock oh, wow. and I've gone in with the satin. You know how much, some say satin, some say matte. Is that from potato. the 30 sheet collection, yeah? It is, yeah. 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 Yep. And I've cut it to five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And I'm going to go in with my dotty tape runner. So we're going to add the dots and we're going to add all the dots all the way around. Now at home, where I've got a lot more time, I personally would use my tacky glue. That's my personal preference. But as you can see, the dots, this is the sort of die and die cut that the dot, dotty tape runner was uh, made for. And then I'm going to switch to my straight tape runner here. Yeah. So we're going to get that one going. Let me just get my other one here. Because you don't want to waste your dots on a solid background. You want to keep that for all your intricate die cuts. Let's go in with our gold satin. And because I've, I've cut it a quarter of an inch bigger, what we're yeah. going to be left with is we're going to be left with that little matting layer 
all the way round. Are you a um, sat in mirror card or a... Um... Have been for years. Huh? I have been for years. Oh, I've were been... you? I feel like I'm the last one on the bus then. Oh, that... I, uh, I've been the biggest advocate for satin slash matte cardstock for years. Uh, okay. Always my go-to, Ben. Always. I'm, I'm, I'm the last one on board that bus then. When I buy our luxury cardstock, mm. I, um, it's always the matte that goes first. It's got that more sort of expensive sort of feel to it, hasn't it? Luxurious it feel, I think. Yeah, really, really luxurious feel. You've just got that toned down effect, that mm. matte effect. It's just beautiful, it's gorgeous. And sometimes you don't want that shine off the actual mirror cardstock. Yeah. As beautiful as it is, yeah. sometimes you want to then just have that matte. And the matte is a good one for wedding cards, anniversary mm. cards. So it's uh, one to keep into mind. Store poll on the socials, mirror card or matte mirror card, go. Go. Who likes what? You got four minutes, go. Yeah, go. go. Be interesting. Mm. It'll be interesting. I think it's going to be a, a tie, close Dear. tie. I do. I yeah. was mirror, but now I'm with you and uh, Debbie R with that yeah. satin. It's gorgeous. I think it depends on the card yeah. you're using as well. For instance, you're uh, an ivory cardstock, then your satin slash matte mm. works really, really well. But you can see there, what I've done is I've just given myself a little shallow black matte and layer. I've gone in six and a half by six and a half. This is just a card blank. You can, of course, make your own by taking some of your own ivory cardstock, yeah. cut it to six and a half by six and a half, and then, of course, just putting a score line yep. down the top. Create that in. So there's my insert. So now, when I know who I'm going to give this card to, yeah. I can put the relevant insert in there. Press that in. Or maybe you want to use your TS from Sarah. Oh! Or Q QVC UK on Friday with Sarah. Oh! Yep. That's me and you Friday, isn't it? No. No, you and Sarah. Oh, is it? I've got oh, the preview yeah, tomorrow right. night. So just keeping it at 7 o'clock UK time. Where are you doing that from? Here? Uh, so no, I'm doing it from home, but it'll be on the Crafters Companion Facebook page and the Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Yeah. So that's going to be across there. Uh -huh. So, yeah, so 7 o'clock, so 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. So if you are wanting to watch outside the UK, then it's going to be 2 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah. 11 a.m. Pacific time. OK. But I will be recapping what Sarah's had on HSN. Um, but you might want to come along and tune in and join in. Who, me? You can if you will, oh, if you want to. Be. Yeah. Yeah. What time did you say? Seven? Seven o'clock. Oh, I'll just be finished up here, then, won't I? Oh, you will, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm going live as soon as you and Sheena finish. Uh, OK. Remind me to remind everybody tomorrow, won't you? I shall try. Yeah. I shall certainly try. Beautiful, that. But look at that. So even if you were just to keep it like that, Ben, it would look beautiful. But I've gone in with one of my Celebrate sentiments. Now, that Aww. one was from our uh, Daisy Frames. So it was one of the Daisy Frames that we've done, and it was the sentiment that come in the middle. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is, actually, I'm not going to put it on just yet because I've created these from our Floral Creations. So it's our Floral Creation die set. And I am just layered them up, ivory card and gold satin card stock. Yeah. And I've done three. And I'm going to come a little bit to the side. I'm not overly bothered that we're not going to see the left-hand side because the purpose of this would be a card for maybe an anniversary. Well, do you know what I was just about to say? Um, well, I know we did Easter earlier on, but this has got Easter vibes all yeah, over already it for start, me. Yeah. Again, yeah. lovely Easter card, this. Keeping it toned with the ivory and the gold satin. Yeah. And I'm just working my way around the left-hand side that we can see here. I'm going to go in with my sentiment. And I'm not going to go quite within the middle because I don't want to cover that cross. I'm going to come in just into here, press that in. And then the leaves from the actual floral creations, I've cut within some of the gold satin as well. And all that I'm going to do is just little tuck-ins, wow. like so. So if you are wanting to use it for anniversary, a really special occasion, or Easter, or uh, Holy Communion, anything like that, you're going to be able to use. So let's just 
tuck in a few more. So if I do, let's go. Do you know what's won the vote, by the way? What's that? About the mat or mirror. Matt. Matt's one. Has it? Has yeah. it? Yeah. Susie, Matt. Bren, Matt. Crafting, Hillary, Matt. Zoe, Matt. Lynn, Matt. Matt, Matt. Matt, Matt. <laughs> um, and Pat says, not Matt, Pat. Pat says. <laughs> what about Matt? <laughs> Pat's talked about the mat. Matt's not Matt about Pat. Right. What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? I thought it was your tablet. No. I came from over there. I was a really high-pitched... That was high even like a horn or that, was it? It was a high-pitched uh, trucker, I think. Trucker, all right. So, <laughs> it's, all the, it's all the deals going out. That's what it is. Uh, Pat just says, I think it depends on the card. Sometimes I like the mirror. Sometimes I like the mat. Depends on the card. But um, in the overall vote, though, mat is the winner. Well done, Matt. Well done, Matt. Donna Yam just says, Craig, this is just beautiful. I'm just doing a couple well more tuck-ins. That's from that large flourish die from the Floral Creations. And it's a lovely one to use as little tuck-ins. I just want to do a couple more little tuck-ins. Let's pop that one in to there. And then I'm going to come in with one last one. You could add gems or pearls if you want to, but nothing's stopping you from the half everyday creator card going down that luxury level that you can see. Okay, yes, I know I've already cut and die cut and shaped the flowers, but you don't even always have to see that full image either. Don't don't think as though that, well, you've mm. got the full cross, I have to see the cross. You still know what it is. You can still make it out exactly yeah. what it is. Now, I would make, of course, a box for that, and then once I know who I'm giving it to, I'll just print a sen sentiment insert and pop it inside. But there we go. And doing what I love to do, and that's bringing in old and new from Crafter's Companion. Very, very uh, busy for this. Loads of love for it as well. Uh, delicate, beautiful and elegant, uh, says Nee Connie. That's enough about Craig. What do you think about the car? <laughs> oh, sorry, that was about... Oh, sorry. Uh, love it, says, beautiful card. Thank you, Craig. Uh, Carol Willis says, that card is absolutely beautiful. Um, Pat Demmer says, beautiful and elegant card, Craig. He does all right, doesn't he? He does all right. You're tell you what, flirting with I, me, Mr Moore. I Morris, tell you what, mate. mate, I tell you what, as you've done so well today, you take the day off tomorrow. Aww. You have a day off, I'll get Sheena in. Sorry, I can't. I've, I've got QVC UK preview. Aww. That's not so. till tomorrow night, though, is it? Yeah, but I've still... I, do you think that I just rock up for these previews and just do them? There's prep, there's organisation, there's software, there's camera angles, there's software? all that I need to get organised. Software? Yeah. What do you mean, what do you mean software? The software on the tablet that I use to connect all the different camera angles. Ah, right, OK. Yeah. Well, don't have a day off then. All right, well, you just spend your time prepping and being professional for your show. It is technically a prep day for me. I don't have a day. I'm not off till the weekend. No? No. It's hard life, isn't it, when you have to work Monday to Friday? Every, every day, am I? Every day. It's all now and again, just comes in. That's the odd show. <laughs> At least you get days off. You're lucky. I, I can't tell you the last time that I've had two weekends off in a row. I've had last weekend and this weekend. It never happens. You ask the two Debbies, it's the same. Never, ever, ever happens. And it'll probably never happen again. The following weekend, I'm down at Hobby Maker or travelling to Hobby you're Maker. You're having a big weekend down there, aren't you? You're, you're looking forward to that. Don't make out you're going down there going, oh, I've got to work. He's having it. Next time he goes down Hobby Maker, right? He's. He's whoop, hooray. Well, it's not the, ne the next time I'm there, I'm just there for the day. It's a week on Tuesday. It's the next time I'm there the week after that I'm just staying down and maybe having a day off in Birmingham with the Hobby Maker crew having bottomless What day is brunch, that? Which par pa partly, drink responsibly, but apparently you start around about 11 o'clock or something. Um, what, what, are you day, what day are you doing that? It's a Monday. A Monday? I'll be working. I don't have uh, any days off in the week. Put that there. No, you just get every weekend off. <sighs> See, I'll offer him a day off, and then he just bites, and he thinks me. They're talking to some people, is there? Can you get on with it, please? I'm trying to! 
if you want to grab the everyday half crazy card dies, go quickly. Um, all of these beautiful designs you're going to get <laughs> within the collection. There's that cross. Uh, Sylvia says, this is the most luxurious Easter card that I have ever seen. So there you go. Praise indeed. Gorgeous cards. Uh, Brent is also gorgeous. You, you're going to be able to create some fantastic projects with all of these. You've got your beautiful uh, Bonnie Bow. Bonnie Bow. You've got your Rose Bloom. <laughs> also your uh, uh, Amore. And also... <laughs> Love is in the air, aye. Which is my absolute uh, favourite of all the designs. If you're going for the showstopper, of which now we've got, I think, less than 80, uh, you're going to get in there. Your luxury linen card stocks, all going on tonight. Um, but that's from the Hyde Ranger collection. Um, 24 sheets you're getting in there. Eight uh, different colours, three of each you're going to get. You're also going to get your uh, heat-resistant acetate. I'm hearing on the grapevine that a lot of people are buying this um, on its own. Shop the day if you want to grab that as an individual item. Uh, you've got 12 sheets of your heat-resistant acetate. You've also got your foam pads in there as well. And I failed to show you earlier on your three rolls of low-tack tape. That is basically another £41, $54 worth of goodies, but you're only paying an extra £10 or $20 worth if you are going for the showstopper. As I've said, you can go for the collection on its own, you can go for individuals, and there's loads of other extra goodies that you might want to pop into your cart and basket on the Shop the Show, Shop the Day, and indeed on the National Craft Month page, NCM Paper is the code to get 30% off. Pat says, well, Craig, if you don't know who to give that card to, I would gladly take it. Oh. He's not sending it to you, Pat. Just like, oh. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. It's, okay, it's fine, don't worry about it. Moved on. <laughs> and next up, we've got another launch, which we had at the back end of last week, the metallic paint markers. Yes, uh, it's, this is your six-piece showstopper. Uh, and again, if you want to go for these individually, you can. There isn't a um, collection of these on their own. Basically, what you'll do, if you want them all without the showstopper, you'll just pop the four of them individually into your cart, into your basket. Um, four brand new colours that you're going to be getting here. And within each of the sets, you are going to get the three different size pens. So the 0.7mm uh, super fine nib, your 3mm fine, and then your 4mm chisel nib the colors are immense this is my favorite um, out of the four actually i love that autumn bronze that rich color um, and what you've got across the bottom of the board here just to show you you've got um, how it's going to lay down for you on your white cardstock how it's going to lay down for you on your black cardstock and the great thing about all of these is the fact that you know what the majority of items you're going to be able to pop these onto you think about things like your wood yes metal yes plastic yes ceramic yes glass um, your paper your cardstock you know, if you like to do things like your uh, pebble art, which I know is super popular, especially with the kids, absolutely. Um, you know, count what they won't go on. They're going to go on to most things. But your champagne colour is the yeah, second of the uh, new colours that you're going to be receiving. You're also going to get that beautiful blush, which I know a lot of people have gone for individually. And then on top of that is that beautiful rose gold. So four brand new colours. Remember, it's three pens within each, so you're getting your 12 pens in total. The showstopper, again, slightly different this time in the fact that if you go for the showstopper, as you're seeing here, um, you get the 60 sheets of our um, white cardstock for free within the showstopper, you're getting the 40 sheets of our matte black card stock. So basically, if you need to top up on your, um, your multi-purpose card, then go for this bundle, right? Because you'll get all of the new pens, you'll get your card, and we'll throw in 40 sheets of your matte black card for absolutely nothing at all. All. And as I've said, if you do just want to go for the individual pens, uh, hit the shop, the show, shop the day page. Uh, let's have a look at these with Craig. I know a lot of people, um, when we launched these with uh, Debbie last week, were kind of like really wowed by the fact that, you know, these will take and go down onto the majority of um, materials. But also, Craig, a lot of people are loving the fact, and it's something that Debbie showed, that you can, you know, if you like to create your mats and layers, and maybe you don't want to use things like your... Um, mirror card mm -hmm. stock or matte mirror card stock you can create like your beautiful foam mats and layers with these pens can't you absolutely yeah you can do so yeah it cuts down on cost it cuts down on bulk as well and it's just a great way to add that elegance in the mats and layers but using the pens but as you said unfortunately i didn't see the show with debbie but i do know that it showed you different uh, surfaces different ways to use it and we're going to do that when it comes to acetate now something a lot of us have in some forum and this is where i'm bringing in something old from crafters companion that's one of our outline dies now we've all got outline dies as some form 
It could be the swans from the cut in, the cut out, anything like that. But this is just one of our outline dies. It's the English rose. And what I've got is I've got a bit of black cardstock and I've put some of our double-sided adhesive sheet onto the back. Yeah. And we're just going to run it through our Gemini. We're going to cut that out. And for this, because we've got our 300 GSM cardstock, but what we've also got as well is we've got that adhesive backing and we've got the non-stick backing. What we're going to do is, as well as using the full plate configuration bin, we're going to use the metal shim as well, just to cut through all of those layers. So let's bring in our metal shim. So our base plate and metal shim, we're going to cut into that and then we're going to do frosted magnetic and then top plate. Mm -hmm. We're going to run that one through. Now, what you're going to want to do is you want to do that twice. So I've already done one exactly the same. Two, well, it's two bits of black cardstock with double-sided adhesive sheet onto the back. Essentially, it's making it a sticker. So we can take that out. Now, we've got that nice, crisp, clean cut. Let's pop all these out because we don't need any of these of course they are essentially all those waste bits are now stickers you can just peel the back in off so it's also a nice way to do a paper piece in but i don't need them so i'm not going to keep them we're just going to take all these bits out and pop them out and then once you've got all these bits out Let's bring in a little bit of acetate. Now, this could be, this is construction acetate. It could be the light acetate. It could be the heat proof acetate. That yep. doesn't matter because a card blank is going to create the structure to it. Don't even bin these as well because you, these are good for masks. Ink through them, you know, do your shimmer sprays through them. But I'm just going to discard that as it is at the moment. And then what we can do is we're going to pop that onto our acetate okay bring it into the acetate and we're just going to press that down give that a really really good press down and we're then going to go in with the blush and the rose gold so i'm going to use the three mil nibs for both of these ones so i'm going to take that's fine both have been already used so we don't need to prime them so i'm just going to give that just a little bit of a shake just for a second and then what we can do is we can then start to get that flow in. So although they've been primed, I'm just going to give it a light pump up and down just to get that going. That's good. And that's good as well. So what we're now doing, really, really simply, Ben, is we're just going to colour inside. Okay. We don't need to worry about the outside lines because that additional one that I've already cut, we're going to overlay just shortly. Mm. And along the same lines as, remember the, in Masterclass earlier on with the Easter collection? Yeah. You know how I um, coloured in the cross and overlay it? Yes. That's, that's what we're going to do with this one. But because your acetate is a non-porous surface, it just glides. It glides and it gives that smooth lay of colour. Yeah which it only takes moments to dry. But if I just lift it out the way just for now, so you can start to see that little bit of that blush metallic coming through. It's nice to see this actually, because I kind of feel that we saw a lot of other materials with Debbie, but I'm not sure she did any colouring onto acetate. So you know, another thing to add to that list of items you can use them on. Yeah, because, and I'm, I'm quite bad for this. You think acetate and you think a little bit of construction or you yeah. think of shakers. Think, what else can I do? So going in and using the metallic pen, paint markers, within the acetate, and it's having a look to see what dyes you've got. Now, they don't necessarily have to be outline dyes. They just could be any dyes that's got a large colouring surface. And we can go in and we can just do little sections. You can cherry pick sections. Again, I'm not bothered about going on that outer line. And even then, even if we did, it would still look really quite smart because it gives you that faux emboss look. But we're going to go in with the rose gold and we're just going to use the rose gold for the remaining part. So we're going in with the stem mm -hmm. and we're going to go fill in the leaf. So we're popping that in. Once again, not worried, not bothered, Ben, about going over that outer line because we're going to cover it up. But we can then infill, 
fill that in, colour it in, and that, how quick was that? It's all we need to do. And if I move that out the way for now, what we've then got is we've got our acetate. Pretty, pretty. We've got our outline. Now, I would take a large circle die from my stash and die cut that with black cardstock. That is so pretty. Th that circle aperture, it's five and three quarters, and the next one is six inch. So it's just circle nesting dies that I've got. So you can see that's where I've got that look from. But let's take that other one here. So let's peel the backing off. And now what we're going to do uh, is okay. let me bring in that white, just maybe make it a little bit easier for you to see. We're going to overlay bang over the top, exactly over the top. So we're going to get that nice, that fresh, that crisp, <coughs> bless you, black outline. Press that in. I'm just going to pop that little bit out there. Hold, press. If I release that out of the way now, we've then got That's amazing. how far it's, it's as if it's been printed. I as almost want to see that like hung in a window or something. What, what are you doing with that? Is it going on a... So it's going to go on a card, but yeah, you could do. You could hang that on a window, maybe pop a little... If you love to do your light box that yeah. Debbie does. Now, of course, you need to adjust the actual size of it here, depending on what image you're using. But using that five and three quarter circle die, I've die cut in a seven by seven card blank and I've just die cut that aperture within the middle. And on the back, I've gone in with my red liner tape. Let me just find the end of it. Here we go. Take the end of it, peel that off. You can use your tape runner if you want to. And we're just going to pop that bang center over the top and press that in. Give that a really, really nice press in. I've already done my insert. So as you can see, we've got that rose within that metallic paint marker just suspending into the middle. But then also, to finish up, let's move that out the way. I'm just going to use this bit of cardstock. I've already print or stamped my sentiment, but I'll show you what I've done. Because I've got this, which is going to go through the centre. Now, you'll oh, notice nice. I'm a big fan of doing across the centre. Yeah. I do it quite a lot, and I've been doing it a lot more lately. You don't have to. You could chop that down if you want to, but I like the banner sentiments. But notice how it's not exactly, you know, 100% crisp. And that's because we're actually going to stamp with our metallic paint markers. So let's put this little bit of card to it. Let's just cut this down just that little bit more. And I'm going to use that same blush pen. You can use any of them, but it's using the pens to your advantage. So let's pop it down. Whatever size bit of cardstock you want. We're going back to the old days that I love to use, Rose Garden. Love that collection. If you're lucky enough to still have it. And How I'll... was that one? So that was just before your time, I think, Ben. Rose Garden. It's all about the roses. But I love this sentiment that just says smile. I, I think it's just a beautiful one to use. So we're going to pop that and then let's take our blush again and we're going to colour over the top. So we're going to work our way round Colour over the top. I'm still sticking with the three mil. You can use your chisel nib if you want to, or your flat nib. But we're going to go, give that a colour over the top. Now you might need to do this twice, hence why I'm using my large stamping platform. We're going to give it a huff. We're going to go. Can you just demonstrate that again? Give that a huff. And then we're going to press. And then we're going to lift and then we've got Ooh. smile. Now I'm just going to do that once again, although I'm happy with that, just, it's just missed the bottom just there. So we're going to work our way in. Whilst most of that has come off, obviously, as you stamped it, do you then need to like wipe your stamp clean after or? No, I, I would do it soon after, soon after yeah. because of the materials. So we're just going to give that a huff again. <gasps> That's in the metallic paint markers. Yeah. Press that in. And then we've got Perfect. our smile or whatever sentiment that you use that you can see here. 
So yeah, it's just you know you've got um, the, the the what do you call it? What what's in the pen? Mm. You don't want to leave that on there because you don't want that over time to erase kind of uh, erase your uh, stamp. So you want to give that a really nice clean, even just your stamp cleaner. Don't worry if you don't get the colour off, as long as you yeah. take that initial layer off your stamp. And let's go in with our let's go in with our foam pads, and I'm going to go and just add a couple in here. And now I'm going to go right across the centre. That's all that I'm going to do. We've got the rows suspended within the middle, coloured in within that acetate there. Your sentiment could be smaller, it could be at the top, it could be at the bottom, whatever you want, but I do like that banner sentiment across. And because you can see it's still nice, it's crisp, it's clean onto the back. Very there pretty, that. And uh, lots of lovely comments coming through. And Zoe Carver says, how spooky. I just bought that rose outlined eye. Woo! Oh, that is do spooky. Do 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 do. Oh, talking of spooky. Did uh -huh. you see uh, Craig's Instagram um, content last week when he was trying to do some spooky shenanigans from uh, oh, Hobby, Hobby Maker. Maker? Nothing really happened. Nothing really happened. I've heard no. there's some uh, ghosties and ghoulies in here, you know. We there should is maybe... Harold's about. Yeah. yeah. We should maybe try and do something later on this week, you and I. I think we should. I think yeah. we definitely should. I didn't do it uh, for long enough at Hobby Maker to really warrant if any activity was going to happen, but mm. maybe. Watch this space. Uh, Cheryl says that rose is beautiful, Craig. Hi, my Lord Ben, Craig or Bagel, says uh, should I? Hi. Um, hi also to Pat, he says I'm saving this show. I love, love, love all of the techniques. And Carletta Morris says that is lovely, Craig. Uh, Showstopper's proving very popular. Busy old show, if you want to go for the brand new metallic paint markers to add to your uh, collection. These are four brand new colours, don't forget, so you, you won't have any of these if you haven't got them yet. Your rose gold with each of the pens as well, you get three within the pack, so of course you're just going to uh, shake them to wake and make sure you prime them first time out as well, and then you're away to go laying these down on practically anything. Wood, metal, plastic, ceramic, glass, um, as you've just seen, acetate as well, which is incredible. Um, all your paper and cardstock, everything you'd expect really and more but those are your three pens so your four mil chisel with these bigger sweeps of color you've got your three more fine and then of course that super fine 0.7 mil nib that's the rose gold then you've got the blush if you're just looking at the two colors down the bottom here we're just showing you of course how that's going to look for you on your white cardstock and your black cardstock then you've got that champagne which is gorgeous i think my favorite though as i said earlier on is this i love that bronze i think it's absolutely stunning um, and again, you're getting the three pens across that. So 12 pens in total, four brand new colours. And if you go for the showstopper, listen, I think if you're getting these, just go for the showstopper because um, you always need more card stock, more of your multi-purpose card, your kind of bread and butter, 60 sheets. And then we're also going to give you the extra card stock for nothing. That 40 sheets of black card stock you're getting for no price. So uh, that is definitely the way to go. If you just want to pick and choose your pens, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Uh, you can look for those individually on the shop the show page £42.36 is your platinum price or $53.43 if you're shopping in the US and your platinum don't forget uh, lots on the website as we celebrate National Craft Month you've got that NCM paper code which you can use to get 30% off selected items and of course uh, lots of other goodies there too now of course uh, Craig is with me on Thursday we've got our um, ah, don't miss that the amazing bingo cartload show coming your way with a uh, free gift if you get in quick plus your chance to win. Uh, but in between times tomorrow, this lady is going to be back and we very much look forward to it. My dad was a printer, which was the old, you know, the old letter set printer, the, the, the type, the old printer's type. So he used to bring home off cuts of card and so I always had paper and card around me from as long as I can remember. He would donate bits of offcuts to the school I went to, and so it was always accessible. Um, my mum and dad bought me colouring products, art products, and you know, good quality art products, like adult quality art products. So I found I could draw from a really early age. So really between that and crafting, it's just been punctuating it all through my life. I think you can get inspiration from anywhere. Um, it's hard, there's never one source. It's from anywhere, it's from, it could be a crafting person, it could be a non-crafting person. It inspires me in different aspects, you know, it could be um, art, 
art, inspiration from artists, inspiration from crafters, or inspiration on just inspiring people. It's all about the viewers. It, if it wasn't for the viewers, then there is no purpose in what? Oh yeah, what am I doing it for? It's not about me, what I can do, it's about what I can inspire the viewers to do. And if I'm not inspiring them, then I'm not doing my job. So it's all about the viewers, and it's all and keeping them um, interested, um, uh, fired up to give things, new things a try. And mostly, any blocks, anything that holds someone back is more confidence than ability. That's what I've found. So if I can inspire people and give them that little bit of confidence to give them the nudge, fantastic. I think the biggest achievement is keep doing what I'm doing for so long. Now, I remember, you know, when I first started, um, you know, when everything's new, um, it, can, it can just, you know, maybe the, um, the enthusiasm and the love for what you do might, might wane. But it hasn't, you know, here I am, as I said, 18 years further down the line, professionally crafting. And I think that's my greatest achievement is that I'm still loving it, doing it, enjoying it. And the feedback's been incredible from, you know, from the crafters and that's what I'm doing it for. So that I think is my greatest achievement and the feedback I'm still getting. Not many people know this, but I'm gonna share this now. Is when I lived in America and I was 19, my eyelashes turned white. So this is still, my hair colour. Oh, I'm getting on a bit now, but it's just a natural hair colour. Dark hair colour, white eyelashes. I look like, um, you know, the John Wyndham, um, you know, the, the Midwich Cuckoos. I look like one of those little alien people with me if I don't wear mascara. Underneath this, lily white eyelashes, go figure. I did worry for a while I was going to turn white, you know, front emanate now from my eyes, which would have looked very strange to try and disguise for a bit. Hi, I'm Becky. I'm the soft craft expert for Crafters Companion. I've always crafted. Um, I think because my parents worked at Shepperton Studios. I, I lived, I grew up at Shepperton. Um, they were always working, so my holidays, my weekends, and my evenings were spent at, at the um, studios. And I just sort of sit around with the other artists, and they'd give me a bit of clay to play with or some fabric. Um, so we were, I was always making things, and there were a couple of us, a couple of children around the same sort of age, and we just used to make clothes for our, our Cindy dolls. I'm flighty with my crafts. Um, I want to try everything, so I go all out and I decide tomorrow I'm going to be doing candle making and I buy all the stuff and I make candles and then I lose interest and then I move on to the next thing. I want to be able to have a little go at all sorts of crafts and I've always been like that ever since I was a small child so I think I can turn my hand and give anything a go. My craft inspiration I think comes a lot of that comes from the internet, looking online, being able to watch um, sort of artists producing bits and pieces as well as sort of um, you know, just general crafters but a lot of my inspiration came from um, sort of my mum and my mum's friends which were all sort of um, great designers and um, people that, that created all sorts of different things. The Crafters TV audience have been so kind to me. So when I first started, and I've not been here a huge amount of time and I've done a little bit of presenting, I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling. And it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people. So it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased. And I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made and when they've been inspired by the shows. I think that's great. My biggest achievement, it's, um, it, it, when I put it on social media, I said that I was more proud of this than I was when I had my children. Um, it was when I won um, a, a demo of the week. I was just absolutely gobsmacked that I'd won demo of the week. I don't often win demo of the day, so to win demo of the week, I was really, really super excited. Oh God, I can't give you the gossip because I promised that I wouldn't give any of the gossip away, but it is great. Um, we, lots of us stay overnight in a house here, um, which is brilliant because we all get to know each other on a like, real personal kind of level rather than just colleagues. So it's a really great atmosphere. And there's so much to learn from all of these people that I work with. So I, I feel really quite blessed um, to be part of this. Um, it is a happy family, I have to be honest. Just uh, Craig and I just 
busy in the break. You think we sit around doing nothing, but we're getting ready for the big show. There's a big show coming, Thursday's cartload. Well, it's the big show. <laughs> it's a big bad show tonight. <laughs> yeah, big show. I'll stop doing that because we've... But yeah, make sure you tune in Thursday. It's going to be big. How many have you done? Oh, mate, pr probably far too many. <laughs> There's going to be a free gift with every order. I wonder if you can guess what it might be. Uh, thank you for the comments coming through. Uh, Gaz has been in touch on YouTube. Oh, is he? Saying just the boys I wanted to see. Sounds oh. nice, doesn't it? I've dropped something into the mail for you both this afternoon that I was meant to send ages ago. Ooh. What could that be? Nice to have you watching, Gaz. What, uh, what is it? You don't have to tell us, um, I look forward to that. Thank you, Gaz. Uh, Samantha says, I've just received my G2 package. Yes, nice. Samantha. G2 crew. Um, so excited now, I have to find a space to put it. And Trish says, beautiful. I would love to get that rose dye. Does anyone know if it's still available? It is still available because uh, Zoe said that she bought that this afternoon, that rose outline dye. Did it come with the large outline florals? Is that the collection? It was the very first original outline floral dyes that we'd done. So it wasn't the last set. It was a couple of years ago. Oh, OK. But it, it's still available because Zoe's bought it this afternoon. Um, Samantha? Chat to Zoe in the comments and she'll tell you. Uh, and hi to Cat Butt. Hey, Cat Butt. She says, hey. sorry, sorry I'm late. Never apologise. We know life is busy. Uh, I've been waiting on the phone for hours. Oh, uh, CC in a glass of stress management to chill. Oh, I love a glass of stress management on a, uh, a Tuesday. A chocolate milk. Not the kind of stress management I was thinking about. Uh, but lovely to have you with us. Thank you, everybody, uh, for getting in touch. Um, we're going to have a look at a launch from... A couple of weeks back, I think now, uh, which is another one of Sheena's absolutely fantastic collections. It's the Lakeside collection. Now, uh, four-piece set. The showstopper has gone. However, you can still get these beautiful stamps penned by uh, Sheena's fair hand. I mean, she is such a talent. It is um, unbelievable, really. And it's lovely that she's going to be back with us again tomorrow. I can just show you the packaging so you can see the different kind of scenes that you're going to be stamping here and then colouring. As I've said, what a talent Sheena is. Absolutely fantastic. This is the uh, perfect view. So you've got that beautiful um, sort of countryside scene, uh, the kind of bench you could just sit on and uh, look out and just admire the views and sit there, get your fresh air, sit there for hours and uh, admire the views. You've got the, um, this one here, which is the happy days, uh, lakeside view. So you've got the uh, two little kids there playing in the, uh, in the water and you get a little sentiment with that one as well, which is happy days. Then this next one is going to help you get your ducks in a row because you've got those um, two beautiful ducks amongst the reeds there. Uh, and then last but by no means least, within this uh, beautiful set, you've got the four-piece Harbouring Memories, which I just think is absolutely beautiful. That um, stunning harbourside scene um, and sentiments like harbouring memories. I mean, that is just absolutely gorgeous. So you've kind of got all of those uh, different sort of lakeside views, but from the harbour to the uh, riverside reeds to the children playing in the water uh, to that really sort of almost like beautiful secluded setting with that bench looking out onto the open water. Stunning Sheena product uh, for just £24 or £29.60 is the price on that if you're a Platinum member. Uh, we're going to uh, begin a demo just now with Craig and then um, squeeze in more the other side of the um, the hour. Uh, Gaz says it's super secret items he sent. I'm sure you'll love them. Mm. And uh, Christine Mahoney says, hello. 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 Um, which one of these? You oh, you're going to show some cards first of all. I am, but I'm going to use the perfect view. Okay. But let's have a look. A few finished samples. You said, Ben, what we're going to do is we're going to start this demo and then I'm going to throw back to you. I'm going to dry it off and yep. then we can come back and finish it off because I actually put a picture on my Facebook just the other day saying that I was going to be doing that. And uh, when Sheena replies saying it's an absolutely lovely card, you know, well, that is massive compliment. Praise indeed, like, that, isn't it? Wow. Wow. So, and the reason I've done it, this is, this is one of my favourite techniques with stamps, certainly big stamps. Sometimes you don't want to colour, sometimes you don't have the time to colour, but you want colour. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in with the stamping platform. Now, it's key that you have your large stamping platform or a stamping platform. Yeah. 
you know, if it's ours, great. If not, don't worry, as long as it's a large stamping platform. And we're going to go in with our stamp. Now, my card I've cut to, I want to say it was five by seven. We'll check at the end. But the key thing at the moment is the card stock and your stamp stays in the exact same place, Ben. You're not going to move it just now. OK. So we're going to go along, and I think with the perfect view, it works well using Sandstorm from your water reactive. Now, you can use any water-based ink pad, but I just love with that sepia tone that we're going for. I'm using some craft card as well. So we're just going to layer up. We're going to layer up our image with our Sandstorm. OK. And then what we're going to do... Before we stamp, let's take our water spritz, Ben, and then we're going to spritz our cardstock. So we're going to spritz our card, yep. and then we're going to go in with our stamp, and then we're going to press. So we're going to press that in, and what's going to happen is that's going to start to bleed. You're not going to get that perfect impression, but what's going to happen, it's going to bleed and then dry within the surrounding area. Oh, nice. So all that I need to do now is I'm just going to dry it off. Now, at this point, Ben, don't move your cardstock yeah. and don't move your stamp. Okay. You can clean your stamp. I'll clean my stamp in a moment, but don't move it. So all that I need to do is I just need to dry my stamp off so you can see how it's looking at the moment. It's a little bit distressed, a little bit mottled. I'm going to dry it off and then I'll not do anything else, Ben, until we come back to me. OK, and if you have, like Christine's just message saying, should I send in a picture I did from the Lakeside Collection? Yes, you, Bloomin' should. Um, any pictures that you want to send in if you've already got these and you've done some beautiful colouring, if you have... Um, well, if you've made anything with any of the collections that we've got, we always would love to see it. We love a gallery. We've bringing, uh, been bringing the gallery back, haven't we, over the last few weeks or so? Um, so, absolutely. Any projects you're working on, anything particularly from this show, we always love a pet picture as well. You guys know the drill here. You know the drill. Uh, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Send in your pictures and we will certainly show them during the second half of the show. Uh, just whilst Craig is drawing there as well, don't forget um, lots and lots on the website for you too. Uh, it's National Craft Month, would you believe? So we are... Um, basically giving you loads of opportunity to pick up lots of crafty goodies. Um, we had a slightly different code last week because we were concentrating on colouring. This week we are concentrating all about your paper craft, which is you guys, right? Everything that you would love at already discounted prices. And then we give you a 30% off code as well. And this is incredible, right? So the code is NCM paper. OK, uh, you whack that in at checkout and if the goodies in your basket um, apply, then you'll get that 30% off. There is a section on the website for you as well, though, which you can go through. There are some surprising items in there. That's all I will tell you. It was nice. In fact, you know what? If you're on the website tonight again, do me a little bit of a favour and have a little bit of a look through and uh, let me know if there's anything in particular that has caught your eye and you can tip me off so I can tip everybody else off. There were some fantastic uh, deals yesterday. I don't know if it's still there, but one of the standout ones was, of course, the layout collection, which had already been heavily discounted. And then you had that 30% off as well. If it's still there, I would snap that up like it's going out of style. But do have a look through for me if you spot anything or if you've shot that today and you've spied something and you've gone, I need to tell everybody else. Let me know and I will tell everybody over the course of this show. Um, and don't forget, we've got so much more to come for you this week as well. Sheena is in tomorrow, which I'm super pumped about. Not seeing Sheena for a few weeks. So she's going to be back in with her crafting wizardry that she does. I mean, Mother Earth uh, Masterclass coming your way. Um, and beautiful beginnings as well, where, of course, we will be bringing Essentials Corner back. Look forward to that on a uh, Wednesday. We'll get her down and we will ask her those questions. Anything you want to ask, then feel free. Any hints, any tips, um, and anything you want to know about Sheena, feel free to ask, and we will uh, get those questions to her. And of course, when Craig comes back on Thursday, it's going to be exciting. We've got a brand new launch. I think one of the best launches, if not the best launch, from what's currently going on over on HSN. I think you're going to absolutely love it tags like you have never seen before we've got a first look show coming your way as well and can't show you but 
free yeah free gifts on a bingo style cartload we have never done one like it before it's going to be a lot of fun there's going to be uh, free gifts for the people who get in first may i just say because this is limited um and some unbelievable deals and a bingo themed cartload show how's that going to work i hear you cry well you'll have to tune in to find out be honest with you I don't really know to be honest with you. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun and it's coming your way Thursday from five. If you have just joined us, a very warm welcome. Uh, you're watching Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you. It's Tuesday. We are into the second hour of Launch Party, a show where we bring you all of the recent launches, things which you might have seen and loved and not picked up. And you think, oh, maybe I'll get this time around. Or indeed, uh, if you've not been watching us recently, all of the best new launches. So we've already touched on the half crater card dies. We've looked at the brand new metallic paint markers. Uh, still to come. And on this show, if we don't get around to it, I apologize, but we've got uh, the top a sentiment pad coming up we've got those amazing um, embossed frames we've got everyday wax seals there's loads on best thing to do is hit the shop the show page and you see all the deals that we've got uh, if we don't get around to them you can shop them anyway we are in the midst of a fantastic demo with craig with the sheena lakeside stamp collection uh, we've been so busy for this we did have a showstopper but that showstopper sadly has gone however good news is you can still pick up the four uh, brand new stamps it's eight stamps in total because you are going to get some sentiments to go with those as well today's price is 24 pounds platinum 29 dollars 60. Uh, let's just get back to craig and craig just for people who have just joined us uh, i know you've been sort of busy and you're a little bit into the demo just explain what you've done so far so people can catch up so what i've done ben is i've taken one of sta uh, sheena's stamps and that was the perfect view so i went in with my sandstorm water reactive ink so i gave that good coverage with my sandstorm water reactive ink then what i've done is i spritzed my watercolor cardstock and then i pressed it into place so what will happen is it starts to bleed out it gets that mottled effect and then while we went back to you all that i done was i just dried it okay. but the key thing is two key points your cardstock stays in the exact same place don't move your cardstock and don't move your stamp you want them kept in the same place then what we're going to do is we're going to come along with a darker color now it could be a quick dry it could be the water reactive just so happens i'm going to go with a rustic brown waterproof ink pad okay and now we're going to go in and we're now essentially going to go in with the fine detail so this time we're going to ink up like normal. We're not going to spritz our card. What we're doing now, the cardstock is nice and dry. We're then going to go in and infill. So you look, you know, it looks nice. It's mottled, it's distressed. It would be a lovely card to make with. But what we can then do is press it into place. So what's happened is that image has started to bleed out. But what happens, Ben, is it bleeds out in the direction as to the way that it was um, pressed in. OK. So once we've pressed the fine detail, what we've then got is then we've got more yeah. of that rustic sort of relaxed feel that's a you've really got cool that color because the color is seeped out that little bit yeah so it's seeped out further to where the outlines are and it's just a nice way to add some color without going in with individual pens or yeah. pencils and then coloring in that way now what you can also do is where i applied my sandstorm and then when i spritzed you could really go heavy with the water and really spritz it out or spritz your card press it down then once you've removed the stamped image spritz again and really give it that explosion so the color bursts out more i like that it is more subtler but you've got the color of the sandstorm that's exploded out behind the trees down the the tree stump in with of course the actual um uh, bench as well so we've got that cover that color so now that i've done that we can remove that out the way and this just goes to show anything water-based, you're never going to get the exact image every time. So that one there, that one, as you can see, I spritzed just that little bit more and see how it's kind of perspersed yeah. uh, that little bit it's more. It's like an old fashioned photo. Sort it's of that effect, sepia photo. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's exactly what it's like. And all that I'd done was I mat and layered that onto a piece of craft card. My card that it was, it was five by seven. Mm -hmm and i'm just going to pop it onto a card now you can do that with anything this sentiment smile you got this this is from our vintage butterflies and i've done the same ben as i spritzed my card sandstorm press and then i went over with the fine detail and then i've got my five by seven card and what 
this card blank is. I've done a top fold five by seven card, but I actually want it to be on the left hand side fold. So it opens that way. Okay. It's a little bit different, a little bit of a different look when it comes to a five by seven. So instead of your five by seven opening that way, it's going lengthways. So we can bring our dried image in. So as I say, this was the one that I'd done at home. That one that I've just done there live, that can go home and I can pop that onto another card another time. But you can do it with so many different colors. Mix and match if you want to. Don't worry about cross-contamination of your colours. You know, you could do brown for the tree, you could do your green for the leaves, you could go into the river there with the blues. So you can still do that same technique, but use a few different colours. And we're just going to press that in. And I, I want to frame it. So I've been going back to the matte and layer dyes lately. And I've just taken two of the matte and layer dies. Pretty. And how that, that just frames it. Yeah, it does. Really, really nicely. And that was six and a half by four and a half. And then also six by four, the two nesting dies. And let's take our, let's use, I'm just going to use, because it's fine. I'm just going to use my dots for this one. Okay. Because it's a finer layer. And see how beautiful that card is. That's something, if I do say so myself, that's a card that you would see on a market stall that is, you know, maybe like, um, you know, like a, a not market, market stall, a farmyard market stall, something Absolutely, like that. Absolutely, yeah. And we can just start to layer and line that up, frame that work, and then I'm going to go in with the sentiment I've already got my foam pads onto the back. Yeah. If I take that off, and then that can sit nicely into there. And That's my favourite card of the day. And there I we go. I absolutely love that. So if if you think maybe you're like you're like me, you absolutely love and adore Sheena's ranges and Sheena's images, but maybe you don't have the time to always do the colour and with the colour blend pencils, the aqua pencils, the sparkle pens, classics, the tri blends, the aqua pens, but you still want to obviously lay that colour down, mm. you can do that. Get the perspective of, of course, the colour when you're water reactive, but that could be any water-based ink pad. It doesn't have to be the water reactive, but certainly with the sandstorm, it gives you that lovely sepia look. Who loves that look in the socials? Let us know. I think absolutely brilliant. And um, Craig's bashed out some fantastic demos today. That is um, right up there with the very best. I love it. Um, Rosalind says, hello all. There is too much crafty going on today. I'm all over the place. Yeah, I, do you know what? We uh, know it's a busy old day. We appreciate you, even if you're just dropping in uh, with us for sort of five or ten minutes. I know there's lots going on on uh, 8 to 7 of the crafting day. So thank you very much if you have... Thank you very much if you have just, I thought Mrs. Doubtfire had just come in then. Uh, I don't know what that was, there's all sorts of weird noises so going on So many weird there. noises. Haunted, that's what it is. It's haunted. Um, I appreciate and we appreciate you uh, dropping in for five or ten minutes, so thank you everybody. Um, Stephanie Theodos has joined us saying, hello Ben and Craig and all the team and crafty friends from Farmingdale, New Jersey. And Shaddai says, stunning card Craig, I'm a collector of Sheena stamps for years. So again, it's giving you loads of different ideas and ways to be able to use those stunning lakeside stamps. And Zoe Carver says, I'm going to have to refresh my brain on how to play bingo before Thursday. Re how, shall I say how it's going to work? It's basically just going to be like, we're going to play the bingo, roll the balls, right? And when the number comes out, that will relate to a particular product. However, you'll need to concentrate on what the number might be because there might be, without saying too much, little sneaky bingo cards for you to play along and win. <gasps> it won't be as fast Naughty as a normal boy. game of bingo because you know in like normal bingo, they go two and seven, 27, three and two, 32, four and five, 40. And you're like that going, oh, ah! and, and that's how we're crafting as well. It's speed, uh, at speed. Speed crafting? Speed crafting. Mm. We'll be a lot slower. Uh, but it is going to be a lot of fun. So uh, Thursday, join us, won't you? We've got some pictures. Thank you for sending all of these in. Carol Willis, this is what we want. This is what we want. Pictures of the pets. So this is little Felix. Felix the cat. Um, who looks like... is. Oh, yes, he's on top of one of your crafty stuff there, isn't he? Um, so that's good. L I love Felix. Oh, and Felix's friend, Pluto. Oh, Lou. Who's a doggy? What sort of dog is Pluto? Aww. Does it say? 
Oh. Do Pluto and Felix get on, I wonder? I bet they probably do. Carol is going to love what we've got coming up in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, because... Is it Team Cat or Team Dog? Pets rule, don't they? Pets rule, they do indeed. Um, it's such a brilliant collection, that. If you have pets, make sure you join us. 14th of March, I think that's launching. Um, so look out for that here on Crafters TV. Now, Christine Maholi, here we go. And this is fantastic, isn't it? Because we saw your take on it, Craig, that you've just done there. But this is Christine's take, adding all of that beautiful colour. And that is a fantastic uh, project. Really is, that nice. a shadow, is that framed or is that in a shadow box? I think oh, it's a frame, isn't it? Frame. Beautiful, that, though. I Christine. know. I know Christine's done um, a few really spectacular demonstrations. She's got a YouTube channel, yeah. Christine Mahoney, and she's done full-on tutorial step-by-step. Step. Mm. So check that out. But that is absolutely beautiful. And Stephanie Adams, love what you have done here. That is absolutely beautiful with the... Oh, I love um, the tones. Is that our um, embossed frames, embossed isn't frames, it? Embossed frames, isn't yes. it? which we've got coming up for you a little bit later on. Uh, that beautiful with love in the centre. Stephanie, love that. Thank you so much, everybody. You know how much we love seeing your projects and equally how much we love seeing your pet too. Uh, love that sepia tone, says Gaz. Linda says, Mrs Doubtfire is on the crafty side of the studio, as always. Oh, he's not doing it now. He's not playing. Hello. And Stephanie says, I so enjoy seeing everyone's pets. Uh, I miss having one. Uh, and yes, I know, Stephanie, we've obviously got Molly Collie. And I think I told you the other day, we had a, I had a message from the lady who we got Molly off saying that her, um, Molly's mum, is now uh, uh, having another litter, which are going to be <gasps> ready in March. So I said to her, whatever you do, do not send through any pictures of the puppies. because oh, I, I really want a dog. Really want a dog. But well, you could, you could get one from this lady, so it would, be, it would be essentially Molly's brother or sister, right? And then, once you get the dog, right, on days when you're in here, you could send it to Harry Poppins. Laura, Laura, yeah, that's, that's true. I could give it to, uh, to Laura. I just, uh, yeah, just if I'm on the road, of course, to a hobby maker or that, or even in here. So Laura does overnight boarding. So does what, sorry? Overnight boarding. The show. Yeah, so you could... What would you call your dog if you got a dog? Would you get a boy or a girl? Uh, probably a boy. OK. And I would get... Um, I, re I really... I love all breeds of dogs. Mm. But I really love Labradors and Retrievers. Oh, well, this one would be no good for you because it would definitely be a Collie. Definitely True. be a Collie, this one. What would you call the dog? The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Stone Cold Steve yeah. Austin, <laughs> the Undertaker. No. Can you imagine I, um, that taking the dog for a walk? Undertaker, my, Undertaker. <laughs> my very first, my very first skinny pig. <laughs> what? You're very well. You may laugh, Johnny, but my my very first guinea pig, and this is when I was when I was like little. You didn't take that for a walk, though, did you? I, or did you? I called it Sable. Sable, yeah. Yep. And then, at the time, we were advised to get a rabbit, because rabbits and guinea pigs get on. Mm. No, they don't, by oh. the way. Um, so we got a rabbit, and I called it Sunny. Sunny, yeah. Two female divas back in the day. If we, uh, I've always said that if, because obviously we had Mac, didn't we? And then, obviously, now we've got Molly. I said if we ever did get another boy dog, he would have to be called Arnold. Yeah. That's good. Because your dog, I, I can see Jake out there, Jake and Holly, they're, they're cats. You're into cats. You love cats, don't you? Yeah. Jake. He's a cat man. <laughs> but anyway, how did we get on to that? Let's, um, oh, Johnny, are you going to get one of the collies, maybe? She's only just up the road in Hartlepool. Yeah. Oh, there you go. He says, if you eventually breed Molly later down the line, I'll buy one off you. Uh, <laughs> only one, he says. The problem is, if we breed dogs, Laura will want to keep them all. You watch. Oh, we'll, we'll keep seven and give one away. Yeah, yeah. Or end up having, like, a massive litter of about 15 collies running around the house. Can you imagine? Johnny, we're doing a buy one, get one free deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have a special collie show here yeah. on Crafters TV. Buy pet, buy pet rails, get a dog for free. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, can you imagine? You know, we used to, we have that big crate sometimes and we do lucky dips, just have all these like collie puppies coming out of the top. Oh dear, collies are the best, Hillary. I know, absolutely they are. Uh, Stephanie Theodore says, looking forward to Thursday because she loves bingo. Um, and Linda says, I've sent a photo of my new friend. Shadai says, can you imagine Craig? The dog runs off and you're shouting after him. Get here, the rock, the rock. <laughs> Come on, Rocky. Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, let's move on. Let's move on before the bosses are going. Oh, what are they talking about in there? Uh, 12 by 12, uh, top of pad, everyday sentiment. Love this. Love this. You guys absolutely loved it too um, when we launched it. I feel like it took its time to get here on Crafters TV because obviously I know a lot of you got it over on QBC and then HSN, uh, but we did the launch of this a couple of weeks back maybe something like that um, it's really really easy to craft with that's what i love about this and it's big fun vibrant um sentiments that you have got the ability uh, to be able to um, decoupage up essentially so what you're going to get with this is 18 sheets all right so it's 18 single-sided sheets uh, but you've got loads of different design them i'll show you on uh, boards in just a second but look if you see here those are the six designs that you're going to get three of each and then you get all of the components to be able to pop these together whether you use your foam pads uh, your chunky glue or however you stick them together a um, lot of fun this is my favorite within the set i think that is so super cool um, with the camera and the smile and like you see it all just layers on top of each other really really nicely um, if you want to go to town and use all of the individual elements you can but what you find i think is that you'll kind of decorate up your main component and then you'll have lots of other bits and pieces left over for future projects and it's really you know as simple as that creating if you want to be simple with this you can creating this is your kind of focal point for your project a little bit of matting and layering you're popping this on top a few little added uh, decorations with the extra bits and pieces that you get really simple easy quick card making so you know what if you're fairly new to crafting someone like me who just likes to have a go now and again really really accessible and easy to do or if you're someone like you know craig or i know a lot of our viewers are more experienced with crafting these are the kits i'd imagine that you go to when you know you just want to sort of scratch that crafty itch or indeed if you perhaps um have forgotten a special occasion or forgotten something you think oh i haven't got time to be like putting a proper card together these are the kind of pads that you'll turn to for that last minute card which is still going to look the absolute business um, and as you can see as we just go through these loads of great uh, decorations for all sorts of celebrations the birthday one is cool and you can see the kind of depth and dimension that you can achieve with these two and then the last one you're going to get is your thanks so uh, opportunities to multi-order here if you want to because you get 18 sheets so six designs three of each you might decide that you want more than that for £13.59 or $15.96, certainly something you can think about multi-ordering. Uh, but let's have a look with Craig, because uh, we are going to get into uh, crafting with these. As I say, Craig, like, you know, for someone like me, brilliant, really accessible. For newbies, absolutely brilliant. But I would imagine for someone like you who's more experienced, great to have kits like this to hand when you just need something quick, but that's going to look amazing, right? Uh, definitely, yeah, but you've still got creative play. You can change it. It could be a little bit higher if you want. It could be quite lower if you want to. Of course, when it comes to myself, you know, I want height. So all the layers that I'm away to do here are all on foam pads. It's no surprise. But of course, some could be foam pads. Some can kind of be flat with your tape runner if you want to. You might want to move some of them. You might want to do your drop shadow. So you've still got a lot of creative play. Now, I've got all mine popped out with the foam pads already on the back with the backings taken off. But but all that these are really, really simple to pop out. Now, in one sheet, you've got every layer to make a full card on that one sheet. So you've got your base, but then what you've also got is you've got all your extra layers. So you're simply popping them out yeah. and then you're starting to layer them on top of each other. Okay. So we're just working our way along. And like I say, I'm not going to do them all because I've got them all already popped out but you're just popping them out but what you've then got is you've got the ability then to maybe maybe you want to keep that middle shadow layer separate and yeah. do that on a separate card there Ben you can do that and then come along with a fine outline and that can go there instead uh, okay or maybe you just want to then have them separate and that can go there or maybe this is where you maybe want to do drop shadows so you can pop them to that corner a little bit more or you can come central if you want to and all that you need to do is you're just popping all these out so all these make a full image these are all extras for you to then just finish to decorate your yeah. card and your project so let me move these ones out the way for now 
And then what I've already done, this is just the backing of our A4, uh, either our foam pad sheets or our double-sided adhesive sheets. I've already taken off the backing just uh, to make okay. that quicker. And I've done that with both of these. I've got all these extra bits here that I can pop out in a minute should I choose to use them. And a black card blank. And for this party, I think that the Roaring Twenties, that works really, Perfect, really well. That. Yeah. And that black card, seven and a half by five and a half. So I've gone in with my insert as always. So let's finish that off. What it's also doing, an insert like this, a matte layer insert, it's creating strength and structure onto the back mm. because we're going to have um, a fair bit of weight yeah. to the front. Because as I said at the start, I choose to use foam pads for all my layers. You don't have to. You can then use uh, your tape or glue gel if you want. But we're going to start building. So I'm going to go direct into the centre. And you're working your way section by section. Yeah. And with these ones, what I'm not going to do just yet is press too hard. When it comes to these little bits here, where you maybe have little tuck-ins or that, I don't want to press too hard. Commit to the stick with the foam pad, mm. and then I find that I need to do a little bit of uh, rejigging. OK. Which is fine if you're using your glue gel, but me being a fan of foam pads, yeah. I, of course... Um, well, use the foam pads and just need that little wiggle room if needed. And that's what I mean here. But I can easily come along, I can pop that in. And what you've got as well is you've got the ability to create different depth. So, Ben, that can either overhang the party mm -hmm. or what I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath that layer here. Yeah. So we're going to go underneath that party and then for the, as the actual masquerade ball, mask, that one, I'm going to overhang when it comes. So you're getting different depth there. You're getting different dimension that you can see within that one. Wow. So you've got that creative play. Same with this one here. So I'm going to tuck under, but I've got my foam pads in the way. So this is why by not pressing too hard, I can lift okay. and then I can come in with my next one. And then that one, I'm just going to tuck around, and that's going to overlay on top of the Y. You don't have to. Yeah. It could be underneath the Y if you want. But I like to have that look. Some are overlapping, some are underlapping, but we can still see that we've got that party. And because of the bucket of the champagne, because that's overlapping the Y, what you'll still see is bringing in the P, the A, going in with the R. So maybe you want to do party invites with these. You can do that, because it's about four of each that you've got. Uh, three of each. Three of each. Yeah. And maybe you are going to organise a garden party, like I've been saying for like the Is it happening this now. year? To be fair, as Johnny was saying, the weather was bad last year. We just couldn't get it. But new fire pit and everything like that ready, yeah. but never got to egg You've chairs. got the whole like, kit out the back, haven't you, of your garden? It's really nice. Yeah, it's pretty much all a QVC, really. It's, mm. like, it's just like a QVC garden set. The thing is, we could have, like... Um, I kind of think this year, because obviously you're, you never have your garden party. I've obviously been in my gaff now for, what, two and a half years, and we haven't had a party yet because of our lawn was terrible, as everyone knows. Johnny's just moved into a, a new place. We could have, like, a tour of each other's... Um, well, yeah, well, James got hot tub. We've got an inflatable hot tub. We could get out, you know? <laughs> Want to, want to come round and all jump in my hot tub? That would be marvellous, wouldn't it? That would be good. But, uh, no, no, serious point, though. Great for, like, invitations for... Definitely. ..all sorts of parties. That's why you might want to multi-order these. Yeah. You, you only get three of each. But three I, of I each, think, yeah. For that price, 13 quid. Um, really good, really good price. But, yeah. yeah, just the versatility. Still nothing stopping you from doing your apertures as well, if you want to. You can do, do that. And then now... All I'm doing is I'm doing, I'm just having a little creative play. Chopping them up, because you can chop them up. We're just going in with the moat just into the back. We can then go, let's actually overhang the balloon over the side of the masquerade ball mask. Mm. So we can take that one. And again, I know I'm going to town with the height. You don't have to. It's still going to look lovely if you go quite low on depth. But we can pop that one there. Let's bring in that little bow. 
Let's take that center layer. Let's pop that one out into there. That one, I'm just going to pop here. Let's also take, actually, let's bring in the champagne glass, but let's overlap that one. So I'm going to take my foam pads, take these, whether it's your large ones and chopping it down or whether it's your smaller ones. That I'm going to bring that and press. Beautiful. And then let's take, Party. actually, let's take another one, Ben, and let's cross it over, but let's come a little bit further down. So again, we're still putting our own creative spin on this. So you've got a certain point where the layers are done for you. Yeah. You just need to decide how high or low you want them. And then all these extras you can start to build. I'm going to bring, let's take, uh, I'm going to snip just a little bit of that balloon off there. And that one, let's take just a little bit of tape. Let's do my dots here. It's almost known when to stop, isn't it? You get so many... Um Elements. So many elements, yeah. Yeah, that is great. That's then, a party I would want to be invited to, I think. And then I tell you what, let's just overhang that one, Ben. It's all about that visual depth that we've got. I would then come along and make a box, maybe go in with my glossy highlights. And actually, as you say, when do you stop? But let's just take mm. that bow and let's pop the bow. Let's just do a little foam pad, bring in the bow, add that in, and then let's just have that just to, no, I'm not gonna do it. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Oh. That card choice as well, the Roaring Twenties, just sets that off to an absolute T, doesn't it? It does, it really, really does. You can see you've got the depth, you've got the dimension, but you could come in with your sparkle pens, you can come in, because it is, just to say as well, it is a coated cardstock, mm. so I wouldn't really use anything such as your water reactive or your sparkle pens, because that would just wipe off, but something like your your uh, clear sparkle pen that you're just going to let soak in, you could use your glossy highlights, your glitter pens, anything like that, your flakes with your stay sticky glue, all of those you can still absolutely use, but don't think you have to go to town with the depth of the foam pads, it's personal choice, you know I love it, you can go flat if you want and you're still going to get a really lovely look. Uh, a few comments which we'll look at in just a second, but proving very popular this, Make sure you multi-order if you can. £13.59 or $15.96 is the platinum price. You do get a lot of bang for your buck, but the point is, if you want, particularly if you like that party um, page, you're only going to get three of those within the set. So if you are going to throw a uh, party, like our Jamie is with his hot tub, hot tub, then uh, you, <laughs> you might want more than just the, uh, the three that you're going to get in there. I suppose it depends how many people you're going to invite, really, doesn't it? Uh, but those are all of the designs that you're going to get. All right, so you've got your thanks. You have got the birthday, which I think is my favourite. By the way, you know, without any sort of, uh, you know, shameless plugging, uh, my next Mosby's Makes will be with this. If you noticed, I was quite quiet during that last demo with Craig. I was taking notes from the master just to uh, make sure I get it right uh, when that one goes live, hopefully by the end of the week. Uh, you've also got just to say, hello, friend. You've also got, uh, love you, love you. Mwah. Love you. Here's the one that Craig was just demoing with there, which is your party. Don't know what that face is. Party. Party. P A R T Y. P A R T Y. <laughs> That's not the song, is it? No. No. D I S C O. And then you've You've got this one as well, which is the S M I L E. That smile camera. A um, lot of fun. The uh, comments coming through. Uh, Rosalind says that card would, would be in a frame. I wouldn't be able to let it go. Um, look let beautiful. It go. Let, let it go. Let it go. Michelle I don't says, do good, good afternoon, all. Uh, Jane says, oh, that would be cool to have Craig's autograph. I have Sarah's Ben's, and now Craig's. Sweet. What are you talking about? What you, Craig's autograph? What you? What autographs? Autographs? You know, I don't know anything about autographs, Craig. Do you know anything about autographs? I do, actually, yeah. Oh, you do? Oh. Stay tuned. Thursday. Um, 
Roslyn says, I was talking about the pets. We had seven guinea pigs, Rachel, Princess, Tulip, Tommy, Sonic and Silver Mist. Uh, they all crossed the Rainbow Bridge because their lifespan Aww. is only six to eight years. Ah, oh, but we love them all. We've still, we've still got our two guinea pigs. Um, they are called uh, Bluebell and Sunflower. Uh, currently in the garage, waiting to be moved out back onto the lawn, which will be um, any time soon. And Linda Fitzsimmons says, <laughs> a friend of mine had to walk lobsters at a festival as part of her job. Walk lobsters. Is that, I feel like that does lead up to like a gag of sorts. Um, but I don't know, N let me know more, Linda. I mean, I, I, did, have a, uh, I did have a lobster once, actually. Uh, he didn't like small spaces. No, 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 he was uh, claustrophobic. <laughs> <laughs> claustrophobic. And on that note, it's time to get you to the checkouts. We'll be back uh, looking at those amazing brand new uh, embossed frames. Claustrophobic. Oh, we'll see you in a moment. I think I've always been a little bit crafty. Um, I used to craft when I was very young. And I say craft. I used to take a needle and a cotton and sew all my own clothes, tie-dye and things like that. So what makes Crafters TV special in my eyes is the community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion and a passion for Crafters Companion on all the things that we do. I met some real friends as well because we talk about customers but really they go in as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. And I do interact quite a lot. So I'm open any time of the day and night to answer any crafty questions. Whether I answer straight away at three o'clock in the morning may be a different matter. But it's lovely to be able to reach out and help. The one for me is the Ultimate Pro. The Ultimate Pro is just an amazing piece of equipment core product that I can't live without because I can make all my card blanks from it and when I mean card blanks I mean my bases uh, from all sorts of different shapes and sizes envelopes on there bow making on there different shape cards on there um, it literally is the tool that keeps on giving and giving so for me that's one of the core products that I can't live without started about 20 years ago, um, probably a bit longer because I've always been quite crafty. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody, we have this real magical essence about it and there's not many places that you can say that where you work, so it is definitely the people that make it. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. There are people out there that watch us and, and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family uh, and that is so important to us. The Gemini is just the most awesome machine out there on the market. It is second to none. It is the most incredible machine that I've ever used uh, and I've been crafting a long time. Uh, when you come across a machine that does everything that you need it to do and you know it's never going to need updating, uh, you know, it's not like phones where they're going to bring a new one out. The only difference they can do with the Gemini is the size, um, is the colour, um, but the Gemini itself is, uh, you know, proven to be the most amazing product out there on the market. So yeah, it has to be the Gemini. Rosalind Russell says, you two are hilarious. We try, we try. Um, afternoon all, says Michelle. Um, Linda says, lol, Ben, it's true, re-walking the lobsters. I think it was Henley Regatta. I don't understand what that means, though. No, what, on a no. lead, or were you like, what we, I don't, you need, where are they walking from to? And you go, good moon, good moon, and they're like that. What, how, and where are they, do they walk forward, lobsters? Oh, I'm thinking of crabs. But what I need, we need to know. It was at Henley Regatta, you were walking lobsters. Where from to? Uh, <laughs> Johnny. Johnny says, we walking them to the shell garage. Oh, dear. Um, thank you, Shadai. That was brilliant, my Lord Ben. Close. Trophobic. Yes, I thought it was rather good on the spur of the moment. Um, right, moving on.
your embossed frames showstopper collection. Um, now you are going to get some, I haven't got all of the showstopper goodies here sadly to show you. Um, but we can show you the um, goodies that you're going to get in a few moments time. The embossed frames, I mean these were so super popular last week. Uh, for £52 or $68, I'll show you everything that you're going to get and then um, the goodies that you're going to get alongside these as well. You get your beautiful folder, right, which is going to give you that um, stunning emboss. And then you're also going to get the die to match up with that as well. So what you can do, of course, is uh, cut out your cardstock, use the folder to get that beautiful embossed effect. You've also got the uh, die on the outside there as well if you want to cut that out as a panel. Die on the inside to cut the aperture and, of course, the embossing folder to work with it. So it all works really, really nicely together, although you don't have to. You know, if you just want to have that beautiful frame, you can. If you just want to um, have a beautiful embossed piece, you can. It's entirely up to you. Lots of versatility, certainly not a one-trick pony, um, you know, which we don't like at all. You're also um, going to get the um, happy butterflies in there too, um, which again, very similar. This is the one that, um, oh, who sent in that card a little bit earlier on who used this? There was a lovely lady who sent in the card earlier, Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie Adams, yeah, who obviously use this again because you can uh, manipulate and lift up those little uh, butterfly wings should you wish to. But again, all of the different components to create a beautiful um, embossed card, a beautiful frame, uh, use them individually of each other or indeed use them together. You also get the sentiments to go with these as well. I didn't read the sentiment on the, on the other one, but it's um, friends make the world beautiful. Here you've got wishing you happiness today and always and then this one is gorgeous with the flowers. I think potentially my favourite of the three designs that you're going to get, which is the Blooming Roses. Um, so you've got those gorgeous flowers in there. Uh, and Bloom Where You Are Planted is your stamp sentiment within that set. Now, the Showstopper collection also brings you all of these goodies. So you are going to get your 100-pack uh, of craft card and envelopes. Um, so that is all in there. You're also going to get one of our tape pens and you're going to get the two large rocker blocks. That's for an extra £20 or $20. Essentially, it's £34 or $45 worth of extra goodies that you're only paying an extra £24. As always, if you just decide you want the embossed frames on them own, you can just go for those. Or if you want to go for the individuals again, uh, you've got the ability to do it, depending on um, where the budget lies. £52 or £68. Uh, but just, Johnny's just telling me he ate at the new Mary Poppins restaurant last night. Super, <laughs> super cauliflower cheese, but the lobster was atrocious. <laughs> oh no, Johnny, that is horrible. I ate, what was it? I ate at the Mary Poppins restaurant last night. Super cauliflower cheese, but the lobster was atrocious. My, 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 my. That was a good one. That Johnny! Is good one. That is, uh, he's not taking credit for that, he's just said, but that is an absolute beaut. <sighs> Thank you, Susie. Susie has just added you on my feed here going, oh, at Johnny, with, you've got about five eye rolling emojis there, and you think I'm bad. Oh, dear. Um, right. Linda says that she walk, was walking the lobsters because she thinks it was to promote the champagne lobster store. <laughs> right. Oh, dear. Just received the embossed frames half an hour ago, says Christine Mahoney. Uh, well, enjoy playing with those. And if you're stuck for inspiration, be stuck no more because here is a man who is going to inspire you. Which of the three collections are you going to use, Craig? Craig? We're going to use a beautiful world for this one. Beautiful world. So we're going to bring out the embossing folder, we've got the stamp and then obviously this, the die as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the die cut first and then we're going to do the emboss. Now I don't need the outside matte and layer die, all that I want is the actual main die cut that we're going to emboss. So let's take that out, I don't need the inner frame either. And I'm just going to go in with my white cardstock. So we're going to go in with the white card and we're going to run that one through. Now it's simplistic die and a simplistic shape. So we're going to go in with our frosted and then we're going to go in with our top plate as well. We don't need the magnetic shim. So we're going to run that one through. And with this size here, all of these ones, they are about five inch by 6.9, so five by seven. So they'll go through your junior as well as your midi. So we're going to take that out on, oh, look at that, it did just need 
that extra shim. So let's put that through again. So that's just a good example to show that even although it looks quite simplistic, we did need that full plate configuration. And it's worthwhile trying it. If it is what you think is going to be a simplistic die cut, mm. it's still worthwhile just going in without the magnetic shim. And if you do need it, just run it through again like I've done here by adding in that extra shim. Let's take that out and we can take all those bits out and then we're going to go in with the folder here. So let's bring in the folder and what we're then doing is let me bring in, I'm going to bring in a bit of black because it can sometimes see, be seen a little bit better through the folder. So we're going to pop that underneath. So we're going to go in with our die cut. Now this is the raised area so it's going to be pushed upwards. Well, we're going to work and sit that in. So you can either go flat or what you can then do is you can do it the opposite way and then you can then bring that into place. Whatever you feel easier at lining up. So work it in, bring that in and then once we've got that aligned we're going to close that and then we're going to emboss that. So it's a 3D embossing folder. Yep. So it's our base plate, it's then our magnetic, and then it is our frosted shim. So remember, I see that every now and again in the groups, it gets asked, what is the combination for a 3D embossing folder? So it's base plate, magnetic shim, and frosted shim. Yeah. And then in the middle, you've got your folder with, of course, your cardstock. So if we open that up, what we've now got is we've got that die cut ah, with that perfect, crisp clean. I know it's mm. harder to see at the moment, but we are going to use some of our water reactive inks. We're also going to use the finger dobber so we can see the depth that you've got when it comes to the leaves, the berries, the foliage as well. So taking in our finger daubers here. Now I'm going to go sandstorm, friar brown and seal brown. So we're taking our finger daubers. Now remember, if like me, you find it just a little bit tough for around the fingers, what you can always do is just bring in your water spritz, pop that on the end, and then I'm just gonna go into some of the actual, what would be maybe like the branches. So we're just going to bring that in with the sandstorm. So we're gonna do the sandstorm first, and I'm just gonna do a couple to start with. I'll do a couple with the sandstorm and then a couple with the parakeets. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go into here. And then we're going to go for a light blend. Now, what I mean by that ben, is if we go in with the light one first, yeah. and then I'm going to go in with the... So I'm going to go to the dark. I'm going to go to the seal brown. And I'm just going to dab that in towards the base. So when I say blend, I'm not like a blending tool starting to blend it round and round. Yeah. All that I'm wanting to do is just go in with the dark, which is the seal brown. Then I'm going to go into the mid here, which is the fryer brown. And we're just going to essentially roughly blend that in because it's foliage, it's leaves, it's branches. It doesn't have to be perfect. No. And it doesn't have to be exact. So we're just blending them ones in. Mm -hmm. And now I would do a few, I've already got one done, so we'll show you that just shortly. But what we can then do is move that out of the way. I'm going to go in with Oasis, Parakeet and Lagoon. And let's take another finger dauber that matches. And then essentially we're going to do the same again. So we're going to go in with the lightest one, which is your Oasis. I'm going to go into Madre. this section. And then we're also going to go in to this one here as well. So I'm just doing the two colour families. And once we've gone in with the light, do the same. Let's go to the dark, which is the lagoon. Yeah. And just add that in to the base. And then we're going to go into the mid-tone, which is the parakeet. And we're just going to blend and dab that one in to here. So carry on with the branches and also the leaves and do that all the way around. Don't worry about the centre part because you're not going to see it. But what we can then do is we can go in with our Renaissance Gold Gildan Wax. So I'm just putting a little bit on and then we're going to go over the top. So we're going to go over the top lightly with our fingers, picking up that 3D depth 
that you've got from each layer of the emboss. So if we work that one in, so you'll start to see the, the colour start to come with the gelding wax. And then that same dye, what I've done is I had a kind of like a, a teal mirror card. To be honest with you, I think it's from Hunky Dory. Yeah. And I've die cut that and done a drop shadow. So that base, that top layer there is what I've just done all the way around. And then that dye, I've just gone in with like an aqua, aqua mint colour and I've just done a drop shadow Beautiful all that. the way around. So that is my outer frame that we've got. Then what I've also done is I've taken just a bit of our watercolour card and I've done a little bit of a distressed background with the, o the oasis, the lagoon and the parakeet. Mm -hmm. So I just dabbed it onto my glass mat, put a little bit of water and dabbed my cardstock. Again, matte and layer with a little bit more of that uh, kind of aqua mirror card and also some craft card. So that's going to be the base. So that can go onto my card blank, which I've done as a top fold. So if I bring that in and layer that into place here, bring back in the one that I've already done. So let's take our foam pads off and within the center, we're gonna cover that up with one of the sentiments. So that can sit here. And I've also, what I've done on the background here, I've done again on another bit of cardstock that yeah. you can see. So let's bring in our stamping platform and I'm going to use my Noir Black. I'm using the waterproof. You could use, you know, the quick dry or that if you want to, because we're not going to do any more water-based techniques. But I just find that the waterproof Noir Black gives a really nice crisp imp impression. Let's then go in with the stamp that comes in with the set. So we're going to do friends make the world beautiful. Don't they? They really, really do. So I'm going to go into place first. Now you could, because we are going to die cut. I should probably actually, no I won't. Let's do the stamp first. Because if I die cut first, Ben, I might not have anywhere to put my magnetic discs. Ah, okay. So let's bring our sentiment and let's ink up, okay. turn, and press that into place. And then we've got friends make the world beautiful. How crisp and clean. Pretty. Really crisp, really clean. And then all that I'm going to do at this moment in time before we go to the next section, Ben, mm. before we finish off the card, is I'm going to bring that die. So that's the die that comes within the center. But I'm going to come down a little bit because I want a little bit of a gap because we're going to use a little bit of our um, wax seals just in a moment. Okay. Uh, we have got those um, on the show for you, the Everyday Wax Seals. Pl uh, plenty of goodies there for you if you've not um, had a look on the shop, the show page. And don't forget, of course, National Craft Month as well with that code. Uh, thank you, Pat. He says, I really love it when Craig explains the plate figurations. I was getting nervous working with the G2, um, but so far, so good. She says, I just err on the side of caution, um, and she sort of would rather run it twice than having problems with like plates and stuff. And that's probably the best way to go. If you're not quite sure, isn't it? Run it through twice. Do you're it not twice. Not go too far wrong. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Ruth has just said, what beautiful demos today, Craig. Thank you. Um, and Cat Butt says, I use finger daubers to apply the gilding wax. Oh, Ooh, that's a good a idea. Of thought. Whatever really works good best idea. for you, really, isn't it? Well, that's the thing, yeah. If it works best for you, if you get a good application... We do say, nine times out of ten, the best application is your it's finger, finger because yeah. you can then guide the pressure. But in saying that, if you find it easier with the finger daubers, it's no right or wrong. You do you. You do you, absolutely. So there's our die cut with that rectangle. And then just using my guillotine, I gave myself a little matting layer. Mm. And then I've wrapped it with a little bit of twine. So it's just some brown twine that we've got here. And then I'm going to go in with the wax seal kit that we've got. And I'm just going to get the lighter going here. I'm just going to pop my tea light underneath. I'm going to get the little spoon going. And I'm going to use, because we've used that teal, that duck egg blue, I'm going to go with the blue that's within the set. How many have you just put in now? Is forget what Four. the optimum amount. Four, four is the best one. Okay. Four is to, to get that nice, that kind of nice flow out, to get that nice ridge all the way round. Then a good one to go for is 
four. You can do three, but you're not going to get that nice circular ridge all the way round. Yeah. So uh, again, it's another one that's personal preference. So we're just going to let that heat up. I'm going to get my pokey tool just so that we can start to go already that that's starting to go. And you can start to do a marble effect if you want to with some of the other ones. But what we can do is that's then going to go within the center. So let's layer this one up to start with. Do you do a lot of wax sealing in your crafting? Uh, is that something you do a lot or not really? Not a lot, okay. no. Not a lot. I tend to leave them for special occasions. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. That, would, that would figure actually. I don't tend to put them on to, um, you know, when I say, you know, no disrespect to family or friends, when they say kind of like everyday birthdays, yeah. if it's just a... Maybe Johnny's 40th, age. you might use one, but for example. But yes, uh-huh, yeah, you know, yeah. a 40th, that sort of thing, 40th or a 30th or a 50th, that sort of thing. I'll tend to use a wax seal or invite something along those lines. But we're just going to let that start to do its thing. Mm -hmm. And what I do at home, and I don't have mine with me, but our brown craft mat, Oh yeah, they're a really, oh, yes. really good. One. They're the best for me, in my opinion. Yeah, they are the best thing to be using when it comes to your wax seals, because they really do just pop straight off. I think Debbie was using that when she um, launched these, actually, and was saying exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they do. I th they seem to cool quicker. They seem to pop off, pop off easier, easier yeah. as well. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I've not tried this before. <clears throat> I don't see why it wouldn't work. Uh, just keeping in mind, you've got a little bit of a plastic ba uh, back in. But again, the back end of your double-sided sheets or your foam pads, oh, yeah. or even when it comes to using up all your foam pads, that full square or rectangle that you've got left over, keep a hold of them, and we can start to see. So this is it pretty much just about melted mm -hmm. so while that's just doing that last bit let's get the handle and let's go in with and actually what the one that i'd done beforehand was the heart but let's use the rose because we've got that floral look and then we're going to take that off i'm going to let's just distinguish that extinguish that at the moment and then we're just going to pour oh what a shot so we're just going to pour that in that's really cool and Although I want it kind of circular, I'm not too concerned, Ben, if it's not a perfect circle. Mm. And then let's move that out of the way. And then what we're just going to do is we're just going to then press in. And then I'm going to let that mm. do its thing. And because we've done four, you've got that nice ridge all the way around. So you've got that little bit of depth all the way around. And what I'll do is I'll show you the one that we've got with the, the love heart heater but it really doesn't take long whatsoever. Certainly on your brown craft mat, yeah. it doesn't take long. I'm going to give that a little bit, you know, look at that already. So it'll still maybe be a little bit pliable, which it is. So I'm just going to leave that for a moment or two. And then I would, me personally, Ben, I wouldn't necessarily do them straight onto my project. I would tend to do them separately. Yeah, yeah. And then attach them either with glue gel or with your heat so, tool. So you could potentially batch make a load of these and just that's what I would do. Store them away somewhere somewhere yeah. cool, obviously. Yep, yeah, I would do that. I yeah. would definitely do that. And in actual fact, what I'm going to do before I stick that back on, let's scrape that off, let's put that back there. And to tie it all in together, let's go in hmm. with a little bit of our wax and then just over the top, let's just work that around like so. And then we've got, you can just see, picking it up. And I've purposely done that quite quick because I don't want it to be neat or tidy, Ben. I want that rustic feel to it. Very good. And then let's just see, there we go. We've got, so if you wanted to do that with the rose, you've got the ability to do that and then because it's a non-porous surface, you've got that little bit of give just to then wipe it off, blend it off, and then you can look at that. Very nice. How fab is that? So yeah, works perfect with the back end sheets, but there we go. There we are using the embossed frames 
with some of the actual wax seals as well. Am I allowed to change my mind as to which is my favourite? Because <laughs> I think that might be it. So cool. I love the colour combo. And I, again, like the process of putting that together. That is stunning, says Shadaya. Um, Craig Bagel and Christy Mahoney says S-T-U-N-N-I-N-G. You know what that spells? Stunning. Gorgeous card, Craig, <laughs> says Beth New. <laughs> um, and Christy... Is that you or Christine? No, Christine put S-T-U-N-N-I-N-G, oh. and then I added the, you know what that spells? <laughs> Stunning. Oh, that's brilliant. Gorgeous, uh, says Christine. That card is timeless, says Rosalind. And uh, Dan says, I love the colour combo on the card. Craig always gives me confidence to try other colour combinations. In the words of producer Johnny, do it. Just do it. Go for it. £52 or 68 bucks is your platinum price on that. Now... Uh, we've got other deals for you, things that we've already featured on the show, but obviously, as we were chatting about yesterday, you know, we know people drop in and out of the show, um, you know, people sometimes just tune in for 10, 15 minutes. If you want to see a lovely demo uh, with the Lakeside Stamps that Craig did a little bit earlier on, it sort of straddled the two hours, so you'll need to go back and uh, watch the end of the last hour and the start of this hour, but you'll see him create with that Lakeside Stamp collection. It's actually eight stamps in total that you're going to be getting, um, all, of course, from the fair hand of the amazing Sheena Douglas, who is with us tomorrow. I'll tell you more about those shows in just a moment. But if you want to get that collection, uh, it's £24 platinum, $29.60. The showstopper's sold out, but come on, you want to get those stamps, absolutely. Uh, the Everyday Half Creator Card dies. Um, again, Craig showed you these at the top of the show. Uh, when we leave here in about three minutes' time, you have got the opportunity, of course, to head on over to HSM, where Sarah, I believe, is going to be using these um, in the next hour uh, but if you've uh, already picked them up and you want some inspiration Craig did a fantastic demo with the cross that you can see at the bottom center of your screen there the showstopper deal on that one brings you all of the brand new half creator card dies um, and basically all the other goodies that you're getting there so the low tack tape that hide range of linen cardstock your heat resistant acetate and then your foam pads that should be an extra 41 pounds or 54 dollars it's 10 pounds or 20 bucks uh, within that showstopper price so 84 pounds or $104 if you're platinum. One of my favorites that we've done recently, which I know you guys absolutely loved as well, has been popular on this show, is the 12 by 12 topper pad. This is fantastic. And again, a real game changer, perhaps if you are someone who's a little bit new to craft, you're gonna create these really, really amazing big size toppers for all sorts of occasions. So from your simple hellos and your thanks, you've got that beautiful one with the camera which says smile, you've got your party invite, you've got your birthday, it, there's loads you're getting 18 sheets and you get three of each of those six designs that's why people have been multi-ordering these uh, at 13 pounds 59 really really great value for money 15 dollars 96 if you're a platinum member and again just to recap if you want those embossed frames you can go for those individually, all right? And you can get that collection on its own if you want to do that. However, again, the majority of people going for that showstopper deal, it brings you the three sets of your embossing folders and dies to create those beautiful embossed frames. And then the showstopper brings you the 100 cards and envelopes in that craft card. Five by seven is the size of those with a tape pen and your rocker blocks, you're actually paying just an extra £20 or $20 to get £34 or $45 worth of extra product, giving you that platinum price of £52 or 68 bucks. And then, of course, those paint markers. Again, we saw these a little bit earlier on in the first hour of the show. Four brand new colours, your blush, your rose gold, your champagne and your autumn bronze. Three pens within each set, the 0.7 mil, the 3 mil fine and the 4 mil chisel. And then within that deal, you're paying actually for the 60 sheets of your multi-purpose card and we're giving you 40 sheets of matte black cardstock for free. £42.36 is your platinum price there or £53.43. Uh, just before we say thank you, don't forget tomorrow Sheena is going to be in town. We've got a masterclass at one, uh, which is all with the Mother Earth collection. So if you've already picked that up, definitely get that out and crack along with us and pick up some hints and tips. No doubt Sheena will have some fantastic, fantastic uh, demos for you and beautiful beginnings tomorrow evening from five it's all about the bella luna uh, the cosmic collection uh, and the aqua blend pencils too craig thank you so much for a fabby day i know you're not here tomorrow but just remind us what you're up to again tomorrow and where people can see you uh, so tomorrow seven o'clock here in the uk i'll be doing a qvc uk preview from the comforts of my own home but it will be on the crafters companion facebook page and youtube channel so if you are wanting to watch outside the uk then it's going to be 2 p.m eastern time or 11 a.m pacific time i'll essentially be recapping within an hour 
Power, what Sarah's got on HSN that she's bringing to QVC UK on Friday. She's going to be on at 10 a.m. for an hour and then she's going to be on an hour later at 11 with Ben for QVC Extra with new products too. Thank you to Craig, thank you to Susie, thank you to Jamie and Johnny and all the team here working hard as always. Enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to catch Sarah over on HSN if you're in the US and I will see you back here with Sheena tomorrow. Bye for now. Ta-da!